and welcome back to my channel. I am the Honey Bat, if this is your first time finding me. We all know Barbie says you can be anything you want to be, and this week Barbie wants to be a chicken farmer. If you guys are interested in some footage of my friend's chickens, stay tuned till after I say goodbye and you'll be able to see them there. The first thing we're going to focus on is our doll. She is a strawberry blonde doll with little freckles on her face. Hopefully you guys can see them. Pink lips and brown eye makeup. She has arms that move at the shoulders. This one is permanently bent into this shape so that she can hold things. Her shirt is a little tank top with red detail around the top and the sleeves. This says Live Love Farm with a little sun there for the O. She's wearing little jean shorts and red farm boots. This is the main play piece in our play set. So as you guys can see, there is a little chicken house on the top with a slanted roof and two shelves. We're going to take a closer look at the top half. This is a cardboard backing piece that's held on there and as long as you don't push too hard it should stay right where it's at. We have two chickens in the background and two little nests with some eggs in them. We have this little place for the chicken feed that you can actually pop up if they're out of food or to feed them. And then we have a little blue shelf and a little grassy shelf area for our little chickens. And speaking of chickens, we get three chickens. We get a white one, a reddish brown one, and this gray chicken here. They are all hens, and they all have little flat spots on the bottom where they should sit up nicely. In addition to our three big chickens, we also get two little baby chicks. We'll see if they stand up. It looks like their feet are wide enough to support them. We get this little carton of eggs. None of the eggs come out, but this does clip closed. The only thing I wish that this had was the little circle piece so that we could take it into the dream house and set it on the counter. But it should sit flat just how it is. And we get a little basket for her to carry the eggs or the little chick or the chickens if we want to put them in there as well. I have a feeling that this little basket is going to be used with the Barbie horses as well as the other farm animals and I also have another idea for this but you're going to have to stay tuned until the play extenders to find out what that is. The only piece that we haven't talked about is this little plastic pink piece that we could see from the front of our box and this is actually a ramp to our little chicken shack. So we're going to push it in right here. And now the chickens have a little ramp to walk up to this little grassy area. So here's what it looks like top to bottom with all of its little creatures inhabiting it. Barbie is just slightly taller than the chicken coop and the little crook in her arm helps her hold the basket. Remember when I said that this little basket was going to come back for our play extenders? Well, they didn't include any little single eggs for us, so here we're going to use a few different items. Here are some little miniature pom-poms. You can pick up about 100 of these for 99 cents at Michael's, Walmart, or your local Dollar Tree if they have all white ones. So they look like little eggs sitting there in the basket. And if you don't have any little pom-poms lying around, you could use little white beads, any little round plastic things that'll fit into our little basket or you can actually make them out of clay, which leads us to our next idea. When I think of eggs, I always think of a little Easter egg hunt, so maybe it's time for Barbie to set one up for our little friends. And if you don't have a small Barbie, you could use any small little humans that you have. I think it's really adorable that this basket is almost as big as this little straw baby we have. And to make some colored eggs for that, we can use some little colored pom-poms. They look just like Easter eggs whenever they're in there. We could also use colored beads, but my next idea is to use a little bit of clay to actually make different colored Easter eggs. So if you roll a little ball and then stick it to a little point at the end, you can see that that resembles an egg shape, which is really cute. These are still wet. I just formed these out of some Play-Doh. I'm going to let these dry for a couple of days, and then the little baby bats will always have little eggs to play with. And you can make these in white if you don't want to do Easter eggs and you just want some random little chicken eggs. If you find yourself running short on chickens, you can usually buy these in yellow, white, pink, and blue around Easter time. They come in a pack of about 20 for a dollar depending on the size that you get. The bigger ones you usually get about six for a dollar. And now we're going to focus on feeding our chickens. So here I cut a couple of small pom-poms in half and glued them down onto a little paper plate, which is just a paper circle punched out of cardstock. 
two look like there's a pile of corn. This one is just a little pile of pony beads all stuck together. You can also turn them into just a little corn cob by gluing three of them or four of them together. And this one is losing a piece there, but this is supposed to look like grain. We just took some fun foam, cut it into little tiny strips and little pieces and glued them on. You could make this look like a pile. You could make it look like it's a mostly empty plate. You can really do whatever you like with it. So here's a quick look at everything that we got in the play set today, as well as some of our added play extenders. If you guys have any ideas, please leave me those down in the comments below. And don't forget, if you would like to see some of the real life chickens from my friend's farm, just stay tuned until after the very end. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and until next time, I'll see you later. Bye for now. Hello fellow bats, so we are over here in the chicken coop area of my friend's farm. There are seven or eight chickens running around. Here's the two that you see. And if we pan over to the other house, you can see the two that just walked by and there's actually two or three over there as well. They are noisy little guys, but they're really cute. And this is exactly what I think they had in mind whenever they designed this playset. So you can be anything that you want to be, even if it's a chicken farmer. I think it's a lot of fun to be out here with the chickens. They are really cute, even if they are loud. So here you can see the rooster and two of its hens. I'm sorry if the wind is a little bit loud. In the background over there, you can see the horses and the goats, which if you haven't seen those clips already, they are in a different Barbie playset video. I will put that link down in the description box below if you'd like to check it out. Oh, we have the farm dog coming to visit us. Say hi, Elle. Come over here. She absolutely loves people and loves company, but as you can see, the chickens don't like her very much because she does like to chase them. That's why they're in their own little fence. We're gonna toss the chickens some apples and see if they are ready for a little snack. In case you were wondering, these are egg-laying chickens and they're not friendly, but they're not unfriendly either. They're kind of just indifferent. They want us to feed them, but they're not too particular about anything else. So I really do like them. You can see a couple of the smaller ones back there. We've got some more chickens coming to check out the treats. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I'll see you next time on the Honey Bat Toy Channel. Bye for now.